weird thought, but I let other people dress me. Now, what got me thinking that way? I'll tell you what got me thinking that way. My wife picked out some brand new clothes for me. And listen, when my wife gets new clothes for me, I don't, I don't respond well in the beginning because I'm like, what's wrong with my old clothes? And the truth is though, after she does, I'm always thankful. And it got me thinking, you know, we are days away from the Igniting Souls Conference. And I started thinking, you know, I'm letting more and more people dress me. Now, what does that mean? That means when you plan a conference or when you write a book or when you start a business, you're presenting yourself in a certain light to the world. You know, when you put a book out, you're presenting yourself. When you do a conference, you're presenting yourself. And the question is, do you let other people dress you? Meaning, do you take on the entire project yourself? Do you say, I must control every detail? And the bigger we get, the more and more I'm relying on other people to dress up the conference. To say, you know what? Here's, some, here, here's a quick list of things that we've changed. Number one, we don't have a manual anymore. We've always had a conference manual. Now we have an app. Thank you very much, Abby and Janine, right? But as we go through each element of the conference, more and more has changed and more and more has gotten better because I've gotten out of the way. We're trusting the team much more. And I'll tell you what it takes. It takes an awareness that you don't have all the answers. I honestly think at the beginning, when I first started a conference nine years ago, I was like, okay, here's what we're doing. Here's the ideas, here's, and listen, part of that's just because you're small. There wasn't really anybody else to, to rely on. But leadership will continue to plateau unless you start empowering other people. I mean, now we have people that are a sound and tech crew. They're making stuff happen. We have a video crew. They're making stuff happen. We have a photography crew. They're making stuff happen. We have the meal, uh, Hilton meal uh, crew, whatever. I don't even know what the right term is. They're making decisions. Um, so many people are making decisions. We even now have co-hosts. Uh, we have the Author Academy Awards coming up. I'm not involved. Uh, Joel Kessel and Lisa Mosier are now co-hosts for that. Skip Pritchard is speaking. And we have Brenda who's taken a major role. Um, there's just so many people who are dressing, uh, dressing me. And what do I mean by that? Your event is an extension of you. Okay, your book is an extension of you. Your, your business is an extension of you. And if you gotta control everything and everything relies on you, it's going to plateau. It's not gonna be as it could, it's not gonna be as good as it could be. So listen, uh, check out ignitingsoulsconference.com. Look at your own uh, event compared to that and say, you know what? I can tell Carrie didn't do that. Carrie doesn't know design. Carrie doesn't know how to do that, that, that. And the truth is I don't. And uh, I think the older I get, the more I realize my one superpower and then everybody else has their superpowers. And together, the event is fantastic because so many other people are unleashed and empowered. So be a soul on fire. If you're coming to the conference, post below. Uh, can't wait to see you in about 12 days. If you're not coming to the conference, what's up with that? Next year's our 10th anniversary of, our, of an annual conference. Would love to have you. And I'm chilling on the patio. Great music, great lights, great fire. And uh, we're gonna have some great memories. Take care.